Well, is there any way we can help that? I don't know how you do that. Town planning is a complicated affair. There's zoning laws, permits, environmental impact studies, building codes, lots of rules and regulations. But there's one place where the rules don't apply, one oasis of freedom, and that would be Brattleboro's shantytown. <laughs> During the week, they look like ghost towns. But come Saturday morning, the shanty towns come to life. Come out, usually at least one day every weekend. All right. Good, good fishing. Bring the kids with you? All the time. Yeah. That's why we do it. They, they love it? We love it, they love it. <laughs> Been doing it since they were babies. How thick's the ice? Uh, about a foot and a half. I wouldn't hold the cars and stuff if it wasn't at least that. It's a good time, that's all. Yeah, you come out a lot? I'm just getting back into it. I haven't done it in a long time. Do you have a shack? No, I don't. Oh. No. You just come out and rough it, huh? Yeah, come out and rough it. Cool. So you set these little deals up and they spring when there's a catch? When the yeah, fish hits? Yeah, when something take, takes the line, it spins the reel and triggers the flag. Can't get up there for you. That's what we've got. Oh, I see. And when uh, something takes that line, it spins the reel and flips the, uh, triggers the flag. Gotcha. The flag goes up. I mean, these things are, this, I mean, this is a different design, but these have basically been used for you know, thousands of years in some fashion. They have some that are insulated so the holes don't freeze up. And uh -huh. It's coming to dinner. Oh, oh there you go. Yay! Very cool. Oh, and yellow perch. Yellow perch, all right. Aptly named. We didn't know what they were. We were really young, we called them tigerfish. And that's hooked deep and it's gonna, when I put the hook out, it'll die, so. Yeah. The hook will rot off. This has been pretty slow. Has it? Yeah. Oh, we came out last week and we got 65. Is that 65? Yeah, it was, oh, it was a lot of panfish. My daughter got a three pound bass. Wow. This guy's got a big pike. And... Huh. They say in real estate that location's the most important thing. But in shanty towns, eh. Is there prime real estate out here? Put your house out and it's anybody's. Anybody. So there's no one spot that's better? No. no. Although I imagine people think there is. Yeah. <laughs> These guys out there, they always get the back corner. Always. First people out there. Always out there first. Which one is his? Way out in the middle. The, the little, the little white one. Yeah, little white. So if it's not the location of your house, it must be the design, right? Maybe the paint job. And of course, you can't always tell a book by its cover. Interior designers take note. Oh, you mean normally that would be up against well, the wall? Oh, well, yeah, just the legs just lift up oh, and it yeah. holds, holds flat. Huh. So, how often do you come out? Like, weekends? weekends yeah. Every weekend or something? Well, as much as I can. It's just a little comb and catalytic heater so it doesn't give off any carbon monoxide. Yeah. 
Plus, you don't feel claustrophobic in here because you've got no. these nice windows. Well, yeah, these are just windows that I recycled. I'm a carpenter, so oh, I, recycled, I couldn't. I, and there's plexiglass outside. So that one's run off a solar panel. See the solar panel in the window? It charges the battery. Oh, yeah. There are actually two shanty towns in Brattleboro. One out at the Retreat Pond, and one out at Sir Sosimo Pond. It's harder to get the shacks down there, I guess, huh? Uh, yeah, the retreat's a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. This is Where do they get them? Down right over here? Yeah, there's a little path, like, right here. Right you there? Walk down. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Well, retreat pond's a lot shallower. It's only, it only oh. gets, like, maybe five, seven feet. Yeah. And this really isn't that deep either, but the middle is a lot deeper than the edges, especially in the retreat. Oh, okay. But, um, <clears throat> a lot so of people, I know, pike fishermen that go to the retreat and get I know a guy that just got like a 30 pound pike really so yeah we just got a pike here it was a uh, four and a half pounds so people oh. come here to pike fish a lot too oh, okay but they probably come here more because it's deeper that's, deeper okay. that's my guess they each have their unique styles but at the end of the day it's all just about the fishing Maybe not. <laughs>